Good evening. I'd like to welcome, every, welcome everyone to our April 9th council meeting. Yeah. Uh, we're at the City Government Center. Shannon, would you call the roll? Mr. Fury? Here. Mr. Post? Here. Mrs. Walker? Present. Mr. Bellin? Here. Mrs. Labby? Here. Mr. Barr? Here. Mr. Bonacci? <coughs> Okay, next on our agenda is the invocation and Pledge of Allegiance. This time, uh, Chuck Bonacci will lead us in both. We ask for guidance and direction in all city manners before us. We give thanks to be able to be together. Let us continue to strive to make our community a better place. Help us work together, and may we give our best always. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Bernacci. Uh, next, has anybody had an opportunity to review the minutes from our March 26th meeting? I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes as submitted. <clears throat> I'll second. Okay. Um, Mr. Post made a motion. Mrs. Labby second. Is there any further discussion? Shannon, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Post? Yes. Mrs. Labby? Yes. Mr. Bonacci? Yes. Mr. Barr? Abstain. Mr. Bellin? Abstain. Mr. Fury? Yes. Mrs. Walker? Yes. Okay, the approval of minutes passes 5-0. And before we move forward, I'd like to make a motion to add resolution 45-2024 to tonight's agenda. Is there a second? No second. Mrs. Labby seconds. The reason that uh, we have done a first reading on this, we want to just add it to the agenda and have another reading this evening. And um, are there any questions? <coughs> Shannon, would call the roll, please? Mr. Fury? Yes. Labby? Yes. Mrs. Walker? Yes. Mr. Bellin? Yes. Mr. Post? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Bonacci? Yes. Okay, the resolution passed is 7 0. Uh, next on our agenda are awards and presentations. Mayor Scafidi? Yes, sir. We have Mr. Uh, Fox William Gansler here tonight, and I'd like to present him with a, a resolution. A proclamation, I mean, come on up. Okay. All right. So we have here with us, we have Fox Gensler here today. And the proclamation goes, whereas the administration, council, and residents of the city of Twinsburg, Ohio, extend their congratulations to Fox William Gensler for his achievement in earning the rank of Eagle Scout. And whereas Fox Gensler achieved the rank of Eagle Scout on December 13th, 2023. And whereas the Eagle Scout is the highest achievement or rank attainable by in the Boy Scout program. To earn this award, a scout must earn at least 21 merit badges. <clears throat> Fox proud, proudly earned 43 merit badges. <laughs> Additionally, he was elected Lodge Chief in the Area Lahan Lodge of the Order of the Arrow, as well as the other leadership positions in Troop 223, including Senior Patrol Leader. <laughs> He has participated in over 100 nights of camping and participated in countless community service projects. Additionally, Fox attended the 2023 National Scouts Jamboree and the Scouts BSA National Youth Leadership Training Course. And whereas, for his Eagle Scout Bad project, Fox developed and led a project to upgrade the dog play equipment at Twinsburg Community Dog Park on Liberty Road. He coordinated a pancake breakfast fundraiser to cover the cost of the materials and led the team of volunteers to make a vision a reality. And whereas Fox attends Twinsburg High School as a junior and is a member of the golf team and the Great Expect Expectation Show Choir. <coughs> and whereas now, therefore I, Sam Scafidi, Mayor of the City of Twinsburg, express my congratulations to Fox William Gansler on achieving this prestigious and honorable rank of Eagle Scout. I further congratulate his family, friends, and fellow scouts as they, as they gather to commemorate this special occasion. In witness thereof, 
I have hereunto subscribed my name and caused my official seal to be affixed this ninth day of April, 2024. Fox, thank you so much thank you. for everything that you've done. I'm sure it's, it looks, I'm going to have to go up there now and take a look at it. But that's for you. Do you want to say anything? Um, I just want to thank you. I want to thank the uh, service department and the Parks and Recreation Department for their, their help and assistance with my project. And thank you for all of the support for our scouting program here. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Do you want to get a picture? Step over a little bit so we're out of the way of this. <laughs> You can get up and take a better picture. You can picture actually stand, yeah, up, yeah. Yeah, get, stand up. Get, <laughs> get that mic, move way up. Get that microphone out of it, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, any other presentations this evening, Mayor? No, there is not. Thank you. Okay. Next on our agenda is council communications and committee reports. And audience, participation. Participation. audience participation. We could do that too. <laughs> All right. Uh, we have Jonah Pachette. <laughs> Nobody is here. I remember that comment. <laughs> okay. All right. Jonah Pachette, 11146 Heritage Drive. Uh, I'm just going to give you guys a quick update on the Environmental Commission meeting we had last week I think it was um, it was overall a short meeting and so it's gonna be a kind of short update for me um, we swore in two of our three new members one just you know he couldn't make it because the doors were also uh, unfortunately locked for him and so he couldn't get in uh, during the meeting at that time as well so uh, that has been you know remedied moving mm -hmm. forward so we'll get him sworn in at our next meeting um, overall when these new members were there it was exciting to see exciting to have new members new blood uh, new people willing to work uh, on the Environmental Commission with one another. We really just kind of shared our story about who we were with one another and why we're excited to be there. Um, overall, we have one kind of upcoming event. It is our Earth Day event, April 20th, uh, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Liberty Park Nature Center. Uh, we're really excited for this. We partnered with the Twinsburg High School's Environmental Club, and they are going to be hosting some activities for us. And so this should be a very exciting event. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and last but not least, the discussions continue on our bag ban ordinance uh, proposal that you guys sent to us. I hope to have more like information for you, more uh, to bring to you kind of after our next meeting on this matter. That's all I've got. Any questions? Thanks, Jonah. All right, thank thanks, you guys. Jonah, thank you. We'll give you a key. <laughs> Get in next time. All right. Now we can do council communications. Are there additional audience participation? There is none. It's it's not really riveting from this point on. <laughs> if, if you'd like to stay, you're more than welcome. But if you'd like to leave, we fully understand and would respect that opinion. So. <laughs> So that's fair. Don't be shy. <laughs> Congrats Thank again, Fox. Congratulations. Congratulations. See you guys. Too. Okay, we good? All right. Now we're going to do council communications and committee reports, take three. Um, Scott Barr, would you go first? I'd be happy to, Mr. Frey. My report is really brief. Um, <clears throat> Since uh, <clears throat> since our last meeting, which I was unable to attend due to traveling, you reported on uh, the Planning Commission meeting. Uh, none of my committees have met. I did attend the Public Works meeting this evening. A lot was uh, discussed. I will let the Chair report on that. In the next meeting of the Planning Commission, scheduled for April 15th, um, is canceled not totally canceled. We're going to do kind of an information session on some of the zoning code updates and stuff like that uh, informally. Uh, I don't think we're doing a work session. I think it's just going to be some back and forth correspondence to brief everybody on some of the zoning code changes and updates like that. Uh, but uh, the April 15th meeting was canceled just due to the applicants not having uh, all their uh, documents in order. Uh, the May date has not been set yet tentatively. And that concludes my report. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Bonacci, would you go second? Mm. 
I attended tonight's public works meeting, lots of information shared, uh, big improvements coming towards our wastewater plant. It's uh, exciting to see that project moving forward. Um, this past Wednesday, I met with uh, Dennis and Fred at the service department, part of my new council orientation is what I'm calling it. Uh, Fred is our uh, lead mechanic. I would like to share that the state of the city's equipment is in good hands. Uh, quality and attention to detail, the amount of reports that Fred was able to pull for me as far as like mileage, preventative maintenance plan, fuel consumption, um, car data, all that stuff. Um, it's a well-ran um, operation. Early on in my career, I worked for a construction company with their mechanics, and he's doing a better job there than the construction company I worked for, and that was a very successful construction company. Um, the BZA is uh, the next meeting that I'll be attending. Uh, their meeting is going to be April 24th at 6.30 p.m. in council chambers. <coughs> that concludes my report. Okay. Mrs. Walker. Good evening, everyone. I did attend the uh, JEDI meeting yesterday. It was short and sweet. And uh, what we've coming up with uh, in the month of June uh, for black history, there's a, a period of time or and a date for Juneteenth. And Juneteenth is about the uh, ending of slavery back in the day, 1800s. So uh, it, was, it was really interesting to know about certain things because, you know, we don't know, know it all. So we're going to have another program in June. Uh, I need to talk to some of the members there, and I should have all the information for us at our next council meeting. And that's all I have to report. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Post. Thank you. Not much here. I attended the... Uh public works meeting this evening. Other than that, none of my um, committees have met, but I will be meeting with planning next Thursday, not planning, ARB next Thursday. And that's all I have. Thank you very much. Okay. Mrs. Lavi. Thank you. Good evening. Um, I'm, I attended the April 2nd Environmental Commission meeting, which Jonah reported on. Um, as he says, Earth Day, April 20th, 10 to 2 at Liberty Park Nature Center. Um, the same day li the library is holding an e-waste recycle event. What is e-waste? It is anything electrical, electronic equipment, LCD TVs, monitors, VCRs, DVDs, laptops, etc. if you have any questions. Um, call the library and see what you can do but that's a, a good event to, for them to to do in conjunction with the Earth Day Arbor Day date April 26 530 to 7 um, Shred Day will be June 1st, 9 to 12, at the Service Garage. Also, the Twinsburg Garden Club is having a plant sale May 11th at the Historical Society Barn. The next meeting, the Environmental Commission, is May 7th at 7, 7 o'clock. I also did have the opportunity to swear in two members, Gina Hutter and Tom uh, John MacArthur, who we had voted in at the meeting prior, um, which was my pleasure to do that. There was another person we have to do swear in next time due to the locked doors so um, I did attend the public works meeting tonight as well and then the CIC meet, meets this Thursday on the 9th <laughs> at 5 o'clock here in council chambers that's all for me today thank you, thank you. Mr. Bellin thank you good evening um, like Mr. Barr I missed the last council meeting on March 26th I'm happy to be back with you this evening um, I know it's been a while but on the morning of March the 20th I attended Mayor Scafidi's State of the City um, I'm sure it was discussed at the last meeting but I just want to take a minute here to talk about how awesome that event was um, Mayor I have to commend you not only for your comments that morning but the way you've changed the um, that program to allow the department heads to kind of get out and present their areas of expertise um, I I just I think it's a great change and I just wanted to commend you on it thanks public works as mr. Bonacci mentioned met this evening be prior to caucus we got project updates from Nate about the wastewater treatment plant we also got um, updates from Amy Moore about 
the signals, the, the um, crosswalks, and several other projects going on around the city. We actually do have three signals that are no longer warranted within the city of Twinsburg, so you can, uh, there will be some changes coming. Um, obviously, as we move forward with that, we will make any of those changes public and those kind of things as well. Next public works meeting will be on Tuesday, June 11th at 6 p.m. here in Council Chambers. Next meeting of the Finance Committee will be on Tuesday, April 23rd, 6 p.m. here in Council Chambers. And the next meeting of the Safety Committee will be on Tuesday, May the 14th, 6 p.m. also here in Council Chambers. Work on the zoning code update continues. The first draft of the updated zoning code has been delivered and is available for review on Together Twinsburg. It is nearly 300 pages and it's available for public comment. I would urge you to review it and ask any questions that you may have. Some update or upcoming dates, important dates. On May the 21st, there's a joint planning and council session. On June the 3rd, there's a planning commission review and a motion. On June 11th will be the first public hearing and as well as the first reading here within council. June 25th will be the second reading. July 9th will be the third reading. Uh, and, and of course, November 5th is election day. For more information, please visit togethertwinsburg.com. That concludes my report, report for this evening, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was at the public works meeting earlier this evening. I plan on attending the CIC meeting on the 11th. Uh, Park and Recs will meet on April 25th at uh, 6.30 in Council Chambers. Um, regarding Park and Recs, uh, our fitness center is celebrating its 25th anniversary. So this month there will be giveaways uh, every week. Uh, first week is uh, muffins and stress balls, lanyards and frisbees the second week, exercise towels and drawstring bags, and the fourth week we'll have t-shirts. So um, again, 25 years of the fitness center uh, help us celebrate. And let's see, and lastly I would like to uh, congratulate uh, Lieutenant Brian Laughlin who just retired after 30 years from the Twinsburg Fire Department uh, on the 6th. So I wish him and his wife Janine all the best and enjoy your retirement. That's all I have this evening. Mayor Scafidi. Thank you and good evening. Uh, a couple things I want to mention. Um, a couple weeks ago I received an email from the uh, prosecutor's office, the Summit County Prosecutor's Office, and um, they were uh, they have a program that's called, uh, it's for sexual assault awareness. And so the, the color is teal for, the, for that awareness. And uh, they had asked that uh, if any cities that wanted to participate. So I immediately wrote back and told them that we would participate by uh, presenting the, the teal color on our building uh, because we're fortunate that we have that, that opportunity to do so. So um, we did do that. We participated in the, it's called uh, Turn Summit Teal was the program and we had that out on the, uh, on the sign out, outside and that evening we lit the building up teal. I don't know if anybody had an opportunity to see it but it looked really awesome. And they asked for some pictures and, and um, they were going to do a press conference here that day or the next day but they, they had too much going on so they didn't do it but um, they put on a nice release and they asked me for a comment so I gave a comment so I was proud and happy to be able to do that for uh, again sexual assault awareness which is um, you know so many times people are sexually assaulted and they don't say anything mm -hmm. and that's what they're they're trying to do they're trying to promote that you need to say something and um, you know we said it from our city hall that you know if, if ever we should be uh, contacted or our police department that they will be uh, um, they will be heard and we will take steps. So we did join in them and they were very appreciative of that. So I was happy to do that. Um, yesterday, I don't know if you guys, anybody knows this, but there was a total eclipse. It was <laughs> right out here, right out <laughs> City Hall. <laughs> and um, we, it was, it was uh, really, it, it turned out to be a, a really good day. The city of Twinsburg was prepared. I know many communities had so many things uh, planned and spent a lot of money on, on what they did. Um, but we had our police and fire and service departments were ready. Uh, they were staffed in case we, we ran into any issues or situations, which fortunately we did not. And I'm sure all of you had an opportunity to see that. I happened to be standing on the roof of this building with a few of the staff members, and uh, it was pretty awesome to see. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to make mention of that. But Twinsburg was ready, ready to go. Um, I think it was. Um, 
Mrs. Labby already mentioned the Arbor Day celebration. I just wanted to say, you know, that's up at Liberty Park, and um, that'll be from 5:30 to 7. We're doing this in partnership with the Tinker's Creek Creek Watershed folks, and some other local groups groups are joining in. We're going to have a, a tree planting. There'll be crafts, giveaways, games, and much more. Uh, I want to thank the watershed people, the Twinsburg Public Library, Summit Soil and Water, Twinsburg Rotary, City of Twinsburg Environmental and Parks and Recreation Committee, and the Friends of Twinsburg for their particip participation. And this is a free event and it's open to the public. So it should be a, a good evening there. Another thing I want to mention, on May 9th, in our uh, community center, they're going to have a ladies' night out. It's called Sip and Paint. And that's from 5.30 to 8 o'clock. Um, there'll be uh, drinks, food, and they're going to be um, Jeannie, yeah, Jeannie uh, Henderson from the October Sun Studio right here in the city of Twinsburg on Route 82. Um, she'll be there for, and they're going to be painting, like I said. Um, the, there is a cost for this event, but there's two drinks are, um, are provided and light, light appetizers. So it should be a fun night out for the ladies as well. Finally, on May 19th, we're having a water safety rodeo, and we're in partnership with University Hospitals. Uh, this is a safety day that will teach how to be safe around the water. Registration is required. Uh, it's free and open to the public. Registration begins on April 15th, and it'll be held at our indoor pool at the fitness center. Other than that, that's, uh, that's all I have this evening, and that's the end of my report. Thank you. Any department heads? No department heads, thanks. Okay. All right, then we'll go into uh, legislation. Um. Ordinance 30, 2024, an ordinance declaring improvements to certain real property within the city to be a public purpose, describing the public improvements to be made to directly benefit those parcels, exempting such improvements from ad valorem real property taxation, requiring the owner of the improvements to make service payments in lieu of ad valorem real property taxes and minimum service payments, establishing a municipal public improvement tax increment equivalent fund for the de deposit of such service payments in lieu of ad valorem property taxes, all pursuant to Revised Code Sections 5709.40, 5709.42, 5709.43, and declaring an emergency. <coughs> Mr. Vazana, point of order. I do not need to suspend the three reading rule since I've read this three, since it's been read three times. I'm <laughs> simply going to adopt this in the next ordinance as an emergency. That's correct. At this time, I'd like to make a motion to adopt Ordinance 3024 as an emergency. Is there a second? Second. Uh, Mr. Bellin seconds. Um, again, this is a TIF that, that that does not affect the schools whatsoever. We generate some uh, money on the uh, property value moving forward to uh, be able to reinvest in that neighborhood. Um, are there any other comments? Any discussion? Shannon, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Fury? Yes. Mr. Bellin? Yes. Mrs. Labby? Yes. Mrs. Walker? Yes. Mr. Post? Yes. Mr. Bonacci? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. Okay. So, uh, Ordinance 3024 passes as an emergency 7 0. Ordinance 31 2024. An ordinance declaring improvements to certain real property within the city to be a public purpose, describing the public improvements to be made to directly benefit those parcels, exempting such improvements from ad valorem real property taxation, requiring the owner of the improvements to make service payments in lieu of ad valorem real property tax taxes and minimum service payments, <laughs> establishing a municipal improvement tax increment equivalent fund for the deposit of such service payments in lieu of ad valorem property taxes, all pursuant to revised code section 5709.40, 5709.42, 5709.43, and declaring an emergency. Okay. I'd like to make a motion that we adopt Ordinance 31-2024 as an emergency. Is there a second? Second. Mrs. Walker seconds. So this is the TIF for Case Parkway South, number one, for written hour. Um, is there any discussion? Shannon, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Fury? Yes. Mrs. Walker? Yes. Mr. Barr? Yes. Mr. Bonacci? Yes. Mrs. Labby? Yes. Mr. Bellin? Yes. Mr. Post? Yes. 
Okay, Ordinance 31, 2024 passes as an emergency, 7-0. Resolution 36, 2024. A resolution authorizing the continuation of various agreements under the Community Reinvestment Area Program created pursuant to the Ohio Revised Code, Section 3735.66 for real property tax abatement. Okay. Resolution 36, 2024 now stands on its second reading. Resolution 37, 2024. A <clears throat> excuse me, a resolution authorizing the continuation of various agreements to provide tax <clears throat> incentives under the terms and conditions of the Twinsburg Occupancy Program established by Ordinance 144-2004. Okay, resolution 37-2024 now stands on its second reading. Resolution 38-2024. A resolution amending the Twinsburg Occupancy Program Agreement between the City of Twinsburg and Cifron as recommended by the Tax Incentive Review Council. Okay, Resolution 38-2024 now stands on its second reading. Resolution 39-2024. A resolution terminating the Twinsburg Occupancy Program Agreement between the City of Twinsburg and Integral Incorporated as recommended by the Tax Incentive Review Council. Okay, resolution 39, 2024, now stands on its second reading. Resolution 40, 2024. A resolution authorizing the assignment of, twin, of the Twinsburg Occupancy Program Agreement with Horvath Electric to Thompson Electric. Okay, resolution 40, 2024, now stands on its second reading. Resolution 41, 2024. A resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into a cooperative agreement with Summit County regarding Liberty Road resurfacing south. Okay, resolution 41, 2024 now stands on its second reading. Resolution 42, 2024. A resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into a cooperative agreement with Summit County and the City of Reminderville regarding Liberty Road resurfacing north. Okay, resolution 42, 2024 now stands on its second reading. Uh, resolution 45, 2024. A resolution authorizing the mayor to enter into a cooperative agreement with Summit County regarding the Glenwood Bridge. Okay, this stands on its second reading also, I believe. <coughs> okay, and that, and that concludes our legislation for this evening. Um, next we'll move to unfinished business, new business, and miscellaneous. And we're going to start at this end. Uh, Mr. Bellin? Uh, I would just like to once again congratulate Fox Gansler on attaining Eagle Scout. Had the pleasure of coaching Fox way back in the day, coaching with his dad. Uh, it's amazing to see how far he's come. It's an amazing accomplishment. Nothing further. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mrs. Lavi? Nothing further for me. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Post? Nothing further. Thank you. Okay. Mrs. Walker? Um, I just want to say something. When I was on the Environmental Commission, as Blanche Devereaux would say, many, many, many years ago, Anyway, uh, I just want everybody to note that right now the dandelions are coming up and the bees are in the ground, so please don't fertilize your yard until two, three weeks down the road because once the, dand once the bees come out of the ground, the first thing they look at is something bright and yellow, and that's the dandelion. And without the bees, the only food that we could eat is wheat because the bees, you know, wheat is not fertilized. So just be careful, just a tidbit. If you could just wait for me two weeks from now, start in May to do it. Don't do it now, please. I, I, got, I got a guy. I, he just shows up. I don't know. <laughs> what I said. Well, I mean, I've got two applications already. Three if you approve the one I put down. But I tell you, but I have these these flowering plum trees in yes. my front that are buzzing with all the bees and all okay. the things. So, so I got the bees covered. Okay. Thank but, you. But, but, but my guy already came. So, Mr. Bernacci. Uh, unless, are you done? I'm done. I'm okay. Done. I, I'm looking forward to Earth Day. It's one of my favorite uh, activities that takes place at Liberty Park. Um, thanks in advance to the students that are going to make it for a great event, and I hope to see others from uh, our council there. That's it. Mr. Barr? Uh, just to echo your sentiments, I wish uh, Lieutenant Laughlin a happy and enjoyable retirement. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the Twinsburg Library Foundation is holding its annual mini golf in the library. So Friday night, April 26th, it's for 25 and above. 
It's 18 holes of challenging mini golf with food and drink. Uh, you have to buy tickets, and we'll get to that. And then Saturday, April 27th, it's free during the from 10 a.m. to 3, more for families, free giveaways. If you'd like to get tickets to the adult in the library golf outing, it's www.foundation of TPL, the foundation of the Twinsburg Public Library org for tickets. Or call the library, I'm sure they can help you. But uh, it's a big fundraiser for them, and please keep it in mind. And that's all I have this evening. Mayor? Thank you. I have nothing further tonight. Thanks. Okay. Mr. Vazana? <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Fury. I have nothing further this night. Okay. Tonight. I, I have a question for you two. Are we done with our executive session or did you want to talk about personnel as well? No, we're done. Okay. We'll go this way. Um, I do have one comment tonight. Um, it's not often that people in the finance world get to go out and do anything fun. So last week I was invited by uh, Dennis and Nate to go tour the waste management recycling facility in Oakwood, which I know the Environmental Commission and Council are going to do in the future. And it was a really, really awesome experience. Um, you know, not obviously in my wheelhouse, but it was a really interesting building to see all of the controls and how like one small thing can affect the whole um, when you do go ask to see the can kicker um, it's the coolest thing where they use this magnetized I don't even know what you want to call it conveyor belt and it just kicks out all the aluminum um, so very neat experience I was very pleased to you know get out there and do something just a little bit different so you guys have something to look forward to once you get past that first smell it's all downhill you know right it does have a unique oh the recycle odor. I thought you said the waste management I heard you it wrong. is so they do have a portion of the transfer station there so it is kind of cool when people say like oh everything just gets put in the trash it you can visibly see that it does not gotcha okay so, I apologize I misheard you there is there is trash there, but um, it was a very neat experience. Good, awesome. And that's all I have. I'm glad you're getting out. <laughs> um, it's, it's the little things that you know. <laughs> right. I have seen the can thing though. It's very cool. It is. Yeah, we saw that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we were there together, weren't we? Yes. Yeah, we were there together. Mrs. Collins, do you have anything you'd like? Okay. In that case, uh, it's 8:05, and we're going to adjourn this meeting.